Oh, dude, that's up. Everything's destroyed. We're gonna save as many ballots as we can. Yeah. Hey folks, the most important and closely watched election of our lives is right around the corner, and millions of people have already social distanced voted by mail. But the subject of voting by mail and voter fraud is, with thanks to Trump, so controversial that throwing the mail-in ballots in a dumpster or setting fire to hundreds of them seems perfectly normal, instead of an apocalyptic headline from the end days of democracy. The burning ballot box was seen in Baldwin Park, a suburb of Los Angeles with a majority Latinx population, and their mayor, Manuel Lozano, said he believes there are close to 100 ballots in the box at the time of the incident that were burnt or wet. But it's not just random arsonists. USPS workers, who really shouldn't be making headlines for this sort of thing right now considering Trump's steadfast mission to dismantle the Postal Service itself, have been caught in the act too. A mail carrier in New Jersey has been arrested and charged with mail obstruction after dumping over a thousand pieces of mail, including 99 general election ballots, in a dumpster. Meanwhile in Florida, a postal worker is accused of stealing a mail-in ballot, along with dozens of political flyers and multiple gift cards, in a scheme that authorities say started nearly two years ago. I mean, I kind of thought the entire point of mail-in voting was to make things easier? You know, not harder. What can you even do to make sure your simple vote gets counted? Stick a booby trap on it? Ah. Well, that was the lowdown for this week. Stay tuned for the latest bubonic plague reports from Trump's latest rally.